Welcome into Buckspeed presented by Advin Health. And while the outcome of the Chiefs game was not what the team had hoped for, the offense did score more touchdowns than they had in the first three games combined. So wide receiver Chris Godwin was asked about the offense's early struggles and if this game against the Chiefs could be a catalyst for them moving forward. I, I think it very well could be. Um, you know, I think it's tough whenever you're trying to put together, you know, your, your offensive game plan whenever you don't have everybody out there. Um, and then you add on top of that that we have a bunch of new faces. You know, we got new receivers, new offensive linemen. So um, it's, you know, it's just tough. Um, but like I said, it's a long season. And I think it, it can be very easy for people to overreact early in the year. Um, but I think the biggest thing for us is just continuing to work to build throughout the season, um, which is like that's what we've done over the last couple of years. You know, it hasn't always been sunshines and rainbows early in the year. We just kind of slowly get better and better and better. And, you know, you can't just build chemistry in one, in one day or one game. It's going to take some time. And we know this Sunday is going to be a big game for the Buccaneers defensive front because the Falcons are very committed to the run game. And run game coordinator, defensive line coach Casey Rogers was asked about their approach this week hard-headed about it so you know that's the thing when you look at them we see in this league a lot of offensive linemen tackles up in two-point stance and when you look at them everybody down in three-point stances and you know they're coming off and they're doing a pretty good job of it what's kind of amazing is you look back up and get ready to play for them last year they finished 31st in the league in rushing off and right now they're fourth so you can see what they committed to in the offseason and some updates from the injury report from Wednesday to Thursday. Tom Brady went from did not participate to full participation, which is great news. Carlton Davis went from full participation to limited. And Rakeem Nunez Roches did not practice on Thursday due to illness. So stay tuned for the final injury report on Buccaneers.com leading up to that game against the Falcons.